all, good evening, it's so should I say good weekend to all, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets for Monday's trading session. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com or download the uh, app from the Google Play or the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of uh, the fundamentals going into Monday's trading, let's start by the Friday's uh, short squeeze. The short squeeze on Friday really was led by rumours. Uh, again, it was rumours because we've had no confirmation as of yet with regards to a reduction in the actual fine of Deutsche Bank. Uh, to the contrary, we've had uh, basically Reuters articles and and uh, basically several new agencies carrying a uh, uh, a story that uh, the uh, Deutsche Bank chairman, Mr. Krein, basically is on his way to the US uh, in an attempt to... Uh, uh, make a smaller settlement in terms of the fine. So again, that's bearish news because the markets had, had, had gapped higher, uh, basically short squeeze higher on the on the back or on the brand premise that uh, uh, the uh, the settlement was uh, was reduced to I think around the, the four billion or the five billion figure, which obviously triggered a um, a reprieve, and therefore uh, it's a one third reduction, and therefore it triggered a short squeeze. That obviously isn't the case, okay? Also, we've had rumours with regards to a potential bailout or uh, with regards to Ms. Merkel midweek softening her tone on the banks, and that isn't the case either. Uh, obviously, uh, over the weekend, we've had even more um, uh, hawkish rhetoric or, or bearish rhetoric basically stating that uh, there is no such thing uh, and uh, that the uh, Deutsche Bank certainly is on its own. We've had uh, reports with regards to several hedge funds obviously withdrawing and reducing their exposure, which again is negative. We've also had comments over the weekend with regards to Deutsche Bank and uh, and linked with the uh, Italian banks and with regards to creating fraudulent accounts. So again, that certainly is another bearish argument. Okay, So uh, all I can see really over the weekend really are bearish arguments and uh, therefore looking for a move or a flush lower. Uh, in terms of other economic data, we've uh, we had the uh, U.S. Uh, and really the, the queue was from Asia. Okay, so again, from my perspective, uh, the U.S. market certainly pushed to new highs as well. Well, not new highs, but retested the highs. I mean, if you take the Nasdaq for example, let's just take the Nasdaq, and you can certainly see a sell-off towards the end of the session. So if I just take the daily chart, you can see we're retesting those highs again at the 4890, 4880 zone. And that certainly is the uh, situation is the case here. Also, with regards to the S and P 500 as well, a flush towards the close, as the rumor obviously was was denied. Going to the daily chart, let's just give you an insight here on the uh, S and P 500 where we are, and still holding that gap fill level. So, still holding the key diagonal trend line, still holding that key gap fill level. Going to the weekly chart, of the S and P 500, and we still have the bear flag. So. Provided that the S&P 500 is bearish, and, and that's my uh, opinion at present, that you are looking at a bearish S&P 500, and don't be surprised to see quite a substantial gap down, okay? You have Brexit concerns as well over the weekend, with Miss May now committing to March 2017 with regards to an exit, and you can certainly see um, a hard Brexit talk there as well, and therefore the uncertainty certainly exists there. So you have Deutsche Bank concerns still existing, okay? Friday's rumour being negated and additional bearish information with regards to false accounts or fraudulent accounts being created and the link with several Italian banks. So situation really is even more dire, okay, from my understanding and therefore look for a, a powerful gap down on Sunday night, uh, which is very shortly, it's currently approaching 8pm here uh, in London, currently in London, so so uh, currently approaching 8pm, so therefore looking for a gap lower. Okay, now let's move to our German DAX, okay, first and foremost, daily chart of German DAX. At present, quite a uh, as I, as I was explaining, the thrust higher on Friday, quite a substantial thrust higher. So you can certainly uh, observe that and see the uh, the actual thrust, a bullish engulfing candle from that gap fill zone, so a key zone of support on the German DAX. 60 minute chart, you can see that we uh, certainly surpassed the Fib 75 percent as well. What a thrust, impressive thrust. But we are into that 200 MA, so there and key diagonal trend line resistance as well. So therefore, looking for a move lower on uh, Monday's trading session, and again, like I said, a gap lower, quite a substantial gap. Okay, if we do move lower, then you do have multiple zones of support. Looking at 10,320, 10,400. Let's see how much we gap lower, and then we'll, we'll take it from there. Okay, looking at the French CAC now, bringing up each other important indices within Europe. Daily chart again for Euro European CAC certainly bounced uh, at this key 
gap level here as well so you can see this is a key gap level so a gap level of support on the French cat an impressive and powerful bounce here okay into gap fill on the daily chart looking at the 60 minute chart you clearly see we've closed the gap here okay uh, you will have held fib 75 percent resistance and therefore you're looking for a lower high so looking for a lower high on the French cat 10 minute chart on the French cat you had gap fill around the 4440 zone we did hit a bit higher 4460 on the spike on this rumor, a false rumor which has been negated now and therefore looking for a flush lower. Uh, a move lower on the French CAC, you are looking at support around the uh, 4390. If that breaks, then you're looking at support around the 4360. If that, then you're looking at 4350 on the downside, okay, in terms of French CAC. FTSE 100, okay, FTSE 100, I can't talk about the FTSE 100 without talking about the potential Brexit talk over the weekend. So again, that certainly is going to suppress the FTSE. Not only that, we also have oil. So if I just bring up the chart of oil, folks, give you an insight here. Where are that oil? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Where are thou? Where are thou? Where are thou? There we go. Okay, so oil, you can see 60-minute chart, double top. Okay, double top on the 60-minute chart, daily chart. You clearly see resistance as well. Horizontal resistance around the 48.3 zone. So given the fact that oil certainly has factored in all the bullish news from this potential OPEC uh, deal that's pending. Now we have had concerns over the weekend with the Saudis and the Iranians and a potential UAE submarine being hit. So again, it's going to cause schism between Saudis and the Iranians and that certainly isn't helpful at all. Especially with the ongoing war in Yemen and Syria, okay, between the two. So again, looking for risk aversion. So oil is into resistance. Okay, we have Deutsche Bank concerns that are resurfacing given the false rumour on Friday that triggered the short squeeze no longer obviously uh, coming into play now. So therefore you are looking at a potential gap lower on the FTSE as well. Okay, so let's look at the daily chart on the FTSE. You had quite a substantial flush. You've obviously held res key resistance at the 4930 zone. Sorry, 6930 zone on the FTSE. You had one hell of a bottoming tail, quite a powerful reversal. Okay, 60 minute chart, the FTSE, you are looking at a bare flag formation, so consolidation when it is in this red candle. You have FIB 75% resistance, so therefore looking for a flush lower. That's one of the reasons why I actually went short on Friday, okay? So again, looking for resistance in this bullish rising uh, channel here, okay? Looking for a break lower. Uh, a lower break on the FTSE, you're looking at support around... 6860 okay that's your first level of support if that cracks then the next level of support is seen at uh, 6935 zone watch out for 6935 they are the two zones of support okay but any resistance uh, well some immense resistance around the 6910 6920 zone okay so certainly looking for weakness on the uh, the FTSE 100 okay all right okay Bear with me, folks. Okay, so I can just bring up the charts. Okay, so FTSE 100 certainly looking for weakness. Let's move to the Euro stocks now. Okay. Okay, here we go, Euro stocks. Okay, so Euro stocks in the daily chart, looking for uh, resistance here as well. So European stocks, remember, they are weaker because of these Deutsche Bank concerns. We certainly held FIB 75% gap for resistance and then reversed quite powerfully, hit a pivot low of 2920. So, so the uh, bottoming tail certainly is in. Although having said that, there is an unfilled gap that still remains open at 2910. So watch out for 2910. Uh, but we are looking at a gap lower on the uh, daily chart so let's go to the 60 minute chart given the Deutsche Bank concern still ongoing you will, certainly did come into this FIB 75% obviously 200 MA uh, if I connect the pivot highs here let's just see okay so let's take this pivot high here connect it to the next pivot high so you are looking at resistance in this zone okay looking for a flush lower uh, based on the 60 minute chart so let's move to the 10 minute chart for now Okay, so you certainly broke out that diagonal trend line. Obviously, horizontal resistance certainly has held here. So it certainly needs to be respected. Uh, any gap lower, you are going to see support around the 2960, 
2940 and then obviously the pivot, uh, pivot low at 2920 so they are your key support zones on the european stocks okay so on that note be sure to uh, expect a potential gap low sunday night on the back of deutsche bank obviously uh, rumors being negated and then there's additional uh, concern with regards to false accounts or fraudulent accounts being created okay in collusion with uh, some italian banks so again and also obviously hard brexit talk as well adding the fact that oil is into resistance too you are looking at risk aversion okay folks on that note wish you rest we wish you well for uh, monday's trading be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of that uh, potential bonus goodbye